Hey guys, welcome back to the Distal Skate Shop YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna do a review of the FR series skates. They are a part of the FR Skates brand, which is really complicated because the model is named FR and the brand name is also named FR. In this video, you can learn a lot more about this skate. So if you wanna dive into depth with me about it, continue watching this video. The FR Skate is one of our best selling models here at This Is Soul Skate Shop. Right now we are in our shop in Amsterdam, but we also of course have a web shop where you can buy these skates. Uh, if you're able to come by our store, that is of course the best because then you can truly feel how the skate is uh, fitting on your foot. And that's the most important part. So maybe this whole skate is not for you because it doesn't even fit your foot. More about the fit of the skate later. I'm gonna talk about the history of the FR skates, run through all the different models that are on the market right now, uh, go through all the bits and pieces that sets them apart from each other and from other skates on the market. So if you wanna dive into depth, check it all out. During the, this review, I'm gonna throw in probably a few terms maybe that you have not heard about. If you hear anything that uh, that does not sound familiar for you. Some vague skating slang. Probably I have an entire video about any of these topics that you're, um, that you're curious about. So check out our YouTube page uh, because by now we covered so many topics, probably uh, the one that you wanna learn about there. Also, our videos are also integrated in our web shop. So with all the, the products that are on our website, website uh, these reviews are, for example, there as well. And we have complete buyer's guides, which also uh, teach you a lot about how skating works, how skates work, and what might work for you best. First thing we'll do today is go through the history of FR. Um, FR is a brand started in 2018, so it's actually pretty new, only a couple of years old. But this particular model was kind of like hijacked from another company and that's the Seba brand. Seba started in 2005 and uh, it, it came out in 2005 with the Seba FR skate model. And a lot of the features that you see today in the current day FR skates are, were also already available in 2005 when Seba started. Seba was led by Sebastian Lafargue and Gregory Pinto. And these two guys are still the main guys between the uh, behind the FR brand. Uh, what happened is um, Seba was also kind of like co-owned uh, by a Chinese person who ran the factory there in China. And that person actually died. We have an entire video about the history of, of FR skates on our YouTube page as well, uh, where I go more into depth about this. But after this uh, uh, Chinese guy died, his son took over and all this like, uh, complicated uh, like a business decision needed to be made so that's why it split actually into two companies and Sebastian and Gregory founded FR Skate. This is a very brief summary of the history of uh, FR Skates and um, they kind of like took the FR Skate brand took the FR model away from Seba that was the agreement so Seba as a brand still exists but without the FR model. Recently something happened in the FR storyline is that there's a new addition, which is the, the UFR. Um, of course, I'm gonna tell a lot more about it, but that's quite cool that it kind of like keeps evolving. And this is uh, an FR skate with a sole plate and it's UFS, so it has a different frame mounting standard than all the others. More about that later. Uh, the FR models are one of our best-selling models here at This Is All Skate Shop. And there's also so many different models that this might be one of the most helpful videos uh, of all our review series. I'm just gonna go 
through all the different models on the table and tell you briefly what distinguishes, distinguishes them from the other model. Let's go from right to left. This is the FR3 model. Uh, it is great because it has a metal plate in the bottom of the boot, which makes the connection from the frame to the boot a lot stronger. It has the cheapest wheels of all the FR skates and a plastic buckle and the, the standard cuff. Next model is the FR190. It has 90 millimeter wheels. So this is one of the models that I, I like selling here the most because it has the 90 millimeter wheels. It has the, the best frame. It has the metal plate in the, bo the bottom, uh, the, um, the, the rocker ball cuff, and it has a metal buckle. So this is one of the best additions out there. Um, this is the UFR80. It's UFS, so it can fit any aggressive skate frame. Uh, it does not have a sole plate, but it, uh, it can mount the sole plate real easily. And it's just a great freestyle skate for aggressive skaters that want to switch maybe to aggressive with this boot later and have that option. Then this is the FRX orange edition, definitely orange, and it does not have uh, a metal plate in the bottom. That means that for the X version, the frame is attached slightly worse to the boot. It means there's a little bit of a playroom uh, uh, and, and the, the, the frame is not as connected as tightly. It also has the cheapest wheels, which are also the slowest of all the FR skates. Uh, and again, it's orange. Wow. Here is the FR1. Um, same as the FR190. It's the, the top model. So the one is the best model. And this edition comes in red. There's also a turquoise version and uh, or like, what is it? Baby blue and uh, a black version. There's a white version here. And this is the same skate here. The red and the white one are actually exactly the same except for the colors. It has a metal buckle, the changeable cuff system that I'm going to talk about later, the best frame and the fastest wheels of all the FR skates. Then next one is the FRJ. Uh, it's kind of similar to the FRX. So it has the, the, the plastic base plate, cheapest frame, cheapest wheels, and it's made for uh, juniors. So it's also not expensive. It has a Velcro strap, but the thing that sets it apart mostly is that there's different insoles in there and you can take out the insoles to, to adjust it to size. So it is very good for, for kids that want to get into freestyle skating. Um, one other feature is that it has a rubber band as laces, so that makes it easy for kids to put it on. Uh, here's the new XP model, which has blue lacing technology. So that makes it extra blue because it's blue. Wow. And um, it's kind of like the FRX, but it has a P after it. So it's the XP. Doesn't make any sense, but it's slightly different. Uh, one thing is uh, that sets it apart is that the cuff is non-removable, minor detail, and um, again, it's blue. So that's the only thing that sets it apart from the other X. Uh, this is the FR1, which I talked about before. And here we come to my kind of like real favorite skate of all the FR skates. It's the UFR90. And it has a 90 millimeter frame, but there's also a rocker in it. it. Means that it's more maneuverable because the outside wheels are a little bit higher from the ground, and it has an intuition liner. But this is a very good, very nice, responsive, but also expensive liner. So it's one of the most expensive versions. But if I would pick any of these skates, I would definitely go for that one. Um, then next to it is the the FRX. And that's probably like the best seller of all these FR skates. It's also the cheapest one, but it's nice and black, not blue. Um, has white lace, but you can put in black lace as well to, to make it even more black, because I like black skates. And uh, this, the price is the one, is, is, is what makes this one um, set it apart from the rest, because it's, yeah, it's just pretty cheap. The wheels are a little bit slow, of course, but you can always upgrade the wheels later. And it does have the plastic bottom, so the, the frame is not attached to the boot uh, as, as good as you would want. But for beginners, mostly, th that's, that's quite okay. All right, then next to it is the um, um, UFR. It has the sole plate. It's meant for aggressive skating, but you can also take off the sole plate and put on a big wheel frame. And here is 
a special skate that I'm going to talk about later. All right. That was a lot of information in a short period of time about all the different models. But if you're like a person who just gets into the sport of inline skating and you want to know what model is probably the best for you, I would either go for the FRX or the FRXP, which is almost the same, or go for the FR3 because the FR3 is like the cheapest version of the the, the 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 type that has the metal plate and the metal plate makes it um, kind of like worth upgrading so it will make the skate more responsive and um, the only downside of the fr3 is that it comes with the cheaper wheels but you can always upgrade the wheels so you could also go for like an fr2 or fr1 which are more high-end uh, in, in all the little parts on it but at least if you go for the FR3, you have the metal plate and the rest you can upgrade later. That's the, all the information about all the different models of FR skates. There's so many. Let's talk about all the different parts of this skate. First is the fit. How does it actually fit on your foot? Um, FR advertises this skate as being single sizes. So uh, on their website, you might find that it comes as a 41, as a 42. But actually, if you look at the real plastic of the skate, that comes bundled. So the FR skate comes with 41 and 42 bundled together in one shell size. And the shell size determines like the real size of how a skate feels. Uh, so in reality, it's dual sizing. The 41 and the 42 don't actually skate differently. So that's why on our website, we bundle these sizes together. We have an entire video about just this topic. It's called the skate sizing lie. Uh, check it out because uh, it's really important to know more about this topic. And in general, the fit of the skate is a uh, pretty like normal fit. So if you have a normal foot, that's nice. And one special feature of, the, of this mold is that it's quite open at the top. So if you have a high foot, this shell is, uh, is okay for you because it's kind of like fle flexible. If you have a, a low foot, you can tighten the laces a little bit more. And if you have a high foot, there's room to expand. One thing about the shell sizing still is that normally, uh, like I said, 41 and 42 are bundled together. 43 and 44 are bundled together. But for the FR skates, something weird is that 39 and 40 are actually two separate cells, shells. So they're not bundled. But then 36 and 37 are, again, are, are bundled so there's some oddity in the how the shell sizing works but you can all see this on our website this is sold.com next topic is the flex of the skate uh, there's two parts of the flex there's the forward flex bending of the ankle forward and there's the sideways flex if you have a skate with big wheels the sideways flex should be really stiff the bigger the wheels are the stiffer you want the skate to be and um, this skate is kind of like the basis of what a modern freestyle skate looks like. So a lot of other freestyle skates are actually made to resemble this one because it kind of like set the tone in 2005 when Seba came out with this skate. Um, and being kind of like the standard is also for me that the way the sideways flex works is kind of like the way it should work. It's kind of like how it should feel. So sideways flex is perfect. And also the forward flex is also in my opinion, just perfect. So. Not too loose, not too tight. Let's talk about the heel raise next. Um, in some ways, this is like a standard 165 mount uh, uh, skate where the, the heel is higher than the, than the front. There's no shock absorber in this boot. And um, that's okay because actually, if you wanna do slides, which are like braking techniques, so it's important to know good slides to be uh, somebody that, that can break good and you want that, uh, it's actually nice to be able to push your heel in the skate and not have that energy absorbed in a shock absorber. So it gives more control if there's no shock absorber. In the more expensive models, like the FR1, there is a shock absorber actually, uh, but you can always take it out. And in the cheaper ones, like the FRX or the FRXP, the FRJ, there's no shock absorber. Adding the shock absorber also changes the position of your foot. And that's also something you should uh, want or think about if you want that. Um, and it also changes the flex a little bit. So you can experiment with it. 
Next topic is the liner. Uh, one funny, funny thing is that for like the FR1 and the FRX, they come with the same liner. Uh, besides, of course, the shock, shock absorber, there's hardly any difference. Um, it's a good liner, it's comfortable, I like it, but do know that it will break in a lot. So if you first put it on, if it feels really tight, you have to know that it will maybe like shrink like even like a centimeter or something uh, after you skate it for like the first couple of days and then especially like the first couple of months it will keep on shrinking until nothing is left in the end uh, i've seen some of these old liners uh, and uh, yeah they, they just shrink a lot then some of the fr skates come with an intuition liner this is my favorite liner brand this is the liner that i always use in all of my skates the liner by itself is already 200 plus euros. Um, so obviously the skates that come with an Intuition liner are also more expensive. But the Intuition liner does break in a bit, but hardly comes close to the amount of the stock liner breaks in. Uh, so also the Intuition liner will last a lot longer. And it's a little bit slimmer. So there's less padding in the Intuition liner. That means if you have the same shell size, meaning the, the plastic part of the skate, with an intuition liner, there, there's going to be more room in the skate. And the sizing then is also shifting. Um, so like if you have a, a FR1 normal version, 43, 44, then with an intuition liner, it might fit like a 45. One funny thing is with the intuition liner, by the way, they do list it as dual size. So all Intuition Liner versions of the FR, uh, FR models are uh, actually bundled together in, with different sizes, like it should. These liners have uh, lace holes to the top, and I definitely recommend you to lace it also to the top. So use that lace, these lace holes, tight it really good, um, because that will increase your performance. Next part of the skate that I'm gonna discuss is the cuff. Uh, there's two types of cuffs being used in the FR models, although they look very, very similar. Um, the cheaper ones are just the standard, standard cuffs, and the more expensive ones have a, an extra feature. It has a, a rocker spacer, meaning you can change the position of the cuff in four, four ways, and this also changes the flex a little bit. The version of the cuff that's not rockerable, that's the version being used on the UFR skates. And it's also the version of the cuff that's used on the Seba TJ Street models, which is still being made by, by Seba. It's one also of the most popular skates. It's the one that's being used with the wizard frame the most. And uh, it's exactly the same cuff, so it's interchangeable. A funny thing, though, is that uh, the sizing of this cuff is made for this skate, and they later adopted it to the CJ models. So the sizing is totally mixed up. Uh, let's say you have a, a certain cuff for a 43 of this skate, then it would be a total, totally different size cuff on the 43 of the, of the CJ. Uh, if you buy any aftermarket cuffs for your uh, FR model skate, then uh, we of course have different ones on our website, different colors as well. Uh, check out our sizing chart because it's quite complicated. Think about it a little bit. I, may, I tried to make it as easy as possible for you guys to, uh, to know which one, uh, what size you needed to, uh, to pick. The cuff has these flaps here. And uh, one little bit annoying thing for me uh, when I try to help somebody with this skate here in the store is that these flaps, they can like um, make it harder for the cuff to close because they're a little bit too long. And of course, when a skate is new and somebody tries it on for the first time, I cannot like adjust that for them. Um, but I do always advise for people to cut it off. You can take just um, a normal saw and saw it off. That's probably the easiest. I have a, a really good scissor. Uh, it's, uh, it's the type of scissor you use for uh, cutting down uh, twigs, like trees uh, in your garden. And that's, that's the type that you can use to, uh, to cut this off. It also has like cutting lines on it so you can see that it's actually meant to cut off. Um, that will also make the, the skate go on and off your foot easier and uh, yeah, it's just better. Next topic is the buckle of the skate. 
But this is just a, a standard buckle. It's actually the same buckle that's known on the racer skates as well. It's a, it's a great buckle, a plastic buckle. If I would skate this skate, I would definitely change it to a, a metal buckle though. Metal buckles close harder and easier, uh, but don't stress about it. This buckle is great. You can all, always uh, improve your buckle. So if you have a version with the plastic one, you can buy a, a metal bu aftermarket buckle from our website. It's real easy. Next topic is the heel brake. Uh, this is the FRW. The W stands for women. It's a special version of the FRX uh, model. So it's all the features are the same of, uh, as the FRX, except that it comes with the brake. So for the same price as the FRX, you get a skate that has the brake included. Um, this is kind of like a, some type of universal brake. So it, it fits on um, most standard 80 millimeter frames. And if you want to have a brake on any of your other FR skates, then you can just buy this brake separate on our website as well. And you can mount it on any of these skates. So uh, if you're in doubt, if you should use the brake or not, we have an entire video just about heel brakes. So if you want to learn more about that, check it out. Next topic is the frame. And there's such a wide variety of frames being used on this skate. Um, so let's just start with the beginning and that's the mounting. And that's also uh, difficult because most models that we discuss here in these reviews, they have just one type of mounting. But with the FR models, they have the UFS type mounting. That's this one. And most models like the FRX have the 165 type mounting, meaning that the distance between the front bolt and the back bolt is 165 millimeter apart and that there's a little bit of a height difference between them but the more expensive models like the fr3 2 and 1 come with the metal plate and it has different mounting holes so you could also put 150 165 of course 180 and 195 type frame on it there's not a lot of frames like this on the market though. Like 165, that's like the most common one. So that's the one you should really think about. But um, some children frames are actually 150. Uh, um, and some racing frames are 195. And Endless is a frame company. They make 180 uh, uh, distance mounting frames especially actually for this gate and for a few others that uh, have this particularity. And if you get a 180 type mounting frame from the Endless, Endless brand, then you can rest assured that it's like perfectly made for, for this gate so that you're super low to the ground. So that's the mounting standard. Uh, there's a whole aftermarket frame uh, category on our website. If you want to buy frames, check out there. Um, and then there's of course wheel sizes and amounts. You can see that most skates come with 4x80. That's like a slalom standard. Um, uh, but slowly the FR skates are like evolving out of their slalom pass. And um, the, the most recent version came with a 4x90 with the rocker. That's my favorite one. We also have 4x90 with flat, meaning all four wheels touch the ground. And there's, of course, like the, the three wheels versions of all these models as well. I am not a, a big fan of the three wheels because especially for beginners, you're higher from the ground. You have mostly a short wheelbase, so it's quite unstable. I'd say if you're a beginner, you're way better off with a, a longer wheelbase so that it's harder to fall. You're more stable, a little bit lower to the ground. Because of that slalom background from FR, Gates, uh, because Sebastian, one of the owners, and also Gre uh, Greg are uh, slalom skaters. Um, they're really good, both of them. And uh, slalom skaters have a really short wheelbase, and they also like to have a rocker in that short wheelbase, meaning that the outer wheels are a little bit higher. Because of that slalom pass, a lot of the FR skates have an axle that you can take out, flip, and then change the wheel height. This creates the rocker and makes it really maneuverable next topic i'm going to discuss is the sole plate it's quite special because it's one of the few times that uh, a freestyle skate like this is able to convert to an aggressive skate where you can grind on 
Um, they developed this top especially for this boot and uh, I thought it was quite interesting to see if it would only if it would also fit on like the standard like FRX, FR32 and one boot because it actually is meant to go on the UFR boot so officially it does not fit on any other version than the UFR version of this kit but what I'm holding in my hand right here is an FRX and you see that it goes on perfectly but if you look at this part here the mounting holes don't align that's easily fixable though you can just take a drill and uh, drill a new hole put the t-nut inside and then you can just mount your boot on your uh, frx skate as well so that's pretty cool um the, the sole plate itself is uh, just a decent sole plate nice backlight groove it's a little bit slim so it's, it's not as wide as uh, let's say a razor shift or uh, yeah any other uh, standard aggressive skate um but it will do its job um i do think it's a missed opportunity that the frame is not mounted directly on the boot if, if you convert it to an aggressive skate um they could have done it as well like the uh, rollerblade blank skate where you mount it directly to the to the boot itself but let's set that aside and just uh yeah enjoy these beauties to get a ag uh, aggressive skate it comes with uh two versions the stock liner and there's an intuition version liner which is here um, and actually this has been selling really good because of the the price uh with an intuition liner is like about as same as the price of an intuition liner so you get like the the complete skate together with the liner and that's just a really good deal so they've been flying off the shelf so now let's slide into the wheels topic um wheels and frames are kind of like mixed so of course there's like different wheel sizes but there's also different wheel quality um to make it easy if you get a cheap fr model it comes with slower wheels if you get a more expensive one the wheels are faster there's actually a big difference in that it also comes with this wheel cover uh, which i only know one friend of mine who actually uses this but i still don't really understand the actually the actual use of it so maybe like it protects your skate from the rain or something so if it rains you put this over the wheels cover it from the rain but like that has never been a problem in my life ever so um yeah this is in the box if you buy one of the more expensive models uh do what it do do with it what you want <laughs> uh, but it's maybe good to know if you want to customize this skate you can there's all the parts are like interchangeable we have spare parts on our website um but the spare part aftermarket is a little bit of a madness uh because you never kind of like know what fits on your skate and what doesn't that's why we made a skate part finder tool this was a lot of work we categorized all the parts on our web shop uh in different models so you can just go to our skate part finder tool go to the fr models and see what parts actually will fit on uh, on, on the skate that you have. Um, let's just go through all the things you can customize on this skate real shortly. There's the frames. Uh, I would advise if you have like a standard 4x80 or whatever uh, skate like this to upgrade it to like an endless frame or an NN frame or uh, uh, icon decode frame or uh, some power slide 165 type frames with a uh, four times 100 uh wheel with the rocker or four times 90 with the rocker i think that's the standard that's both for beginners and for advanced skaters the most fun so that's something that i would advise you to upgrade in then the next part is cut the cuff off the, the little flaps so that you can uh, put it on better and do the forward flex better the buckle is probably too long it goes inside of the cuff and it's hard to to put to really like close it correctly because the buckle is often a little bit too long cut that one off too the laces that are in the skate are, are quite okay they rip easily uh, but they're not as good as wax laces we have ccm wax laces here at our shop so if you want to change the laces i'll go for that one then if you have the version with the stock liner 
and it feels still like super tight for you maybe even too tight you can change it to an intuition liner which gives you a little bit more room but also the intuition liner has a uh, better performance so it's worth upgrading to an intuition liner anyway and then if if you're talking about fit and how a skate fit any skate will improve in performance if you put in a super feet because the super feet will just lock your foot in the right position in your skate and the the insole that's that's in this skate right now is just a piece of fabric that you can just fold real easily and th that's not what your foot wants then the the last part i'm going to talk about uh, that you can change is the wheels if you have a, a cheaper version or maybe even you have the fr3 which, which would be the one that i would advise it comes with a little bit slow wheels but it's worth upgrading it to to faster wheels good wheels are about like 80 euros for eight wheels like 10 euro a set uh, but it's worth you're gonna have so much fun from uh, a set of good wheels um yeah i think that's that wraps it up everything there is to know about the fr models if you have any more questions drop it in the comments we make a new video like this every week we have reviews we have in-depth we have conversations with brand owners there's a lot to discover on our youtube page check out our website this is and i'll see you guys in the next video cheers bye bye One interesting thing. Nou, laat dat maar de gek straks wel zeggen. Ja, ik dacht dan voor de kuf al vast, maar uh, whatever. So much. So much here. So much. I'm gonna redo this. My head is exploding of all the this all the things. As goodly as goodly is not English. So therefore one oh, shit. Mm. And it's really good to know that uh, if you if Oh, fuck it. We can cut it off there, right?